Welcome along to this edition of EY's UK Bribery Digest, where we try to summarise the cases going through on a twice yearly basis and completing through the courts as they relate to bribery and corruption. In this edition, we look at six cases that completed in the first half of 2017, three of which related to financial services, which between them related to lending of more than three quarters of a billion dollars. In the other three cases, you can see an example of how bribery can affect all walks of society. In particular, one of the cases is associated with the identity of a child in an adoption program. In our commentary at the beginning, we take a look at uh, a number of areas. First of all, the OECD Working Group on uh, Bribery, which reported on the UK. We've taken their 100 pages and tried to slim it down into a summary to save you reading it. Although, uh, actually, if you do want to read it, it's, it's very good stuff. We touch on the ENRC case, which has severely restricted legal privilege uh, and how that might play out in the future. We also take time to step back uh, and review the seven years that it's been since 2011 when the Section 7 of the Bribery Act became enforceable, the so-called failure to prevent clause. We look at the settlements that have been made as part of the DPAs, the civil settlements in Scotland, and reflect in particular on the domestic versus overseas aspects of those enforcement actions. We're very proud at EY that the UK Bribery Digest has become a reference work for our industry, and we hope that you continue to find it useful in your work.